What's going on guys, Luca Sharp here. Back again with another little video. Uh, well, Tennessee was able to get the win. 49-13 over Virginia. Um, honestly, I'm happy with how we played. There were some people who's like, ooh, Tennessee didn't really play, look, look that great. I thought we looked fine. I thought we looked pretty good, but that's just me. <laughs> sure, did, did we play perfect? No. We did not play perfect. Uh, but we didn't play terrible either. I mean, of course, we played good enough to win, which we should be able to. Virginia's absolutely terrible, so. 49-13. Uh, uh, Joe Milton had a pretty okay game. Uh, two, over 200 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty solid game from him. Uh, also, Dylan Sampson had four, four rushing touchdowns, well, in in a receiving touchdown, so five total touchdowns for Dylan Sampson. Uh, that's definitely really good. Um, hopefully he can keep that up this year. Uh, you definitely love to see it. Uh... But, uh, yeah, um, hopefully Tennessee's able to – There are yes, there are some things that need to be fixed, especially punting. Our punter really didn't play that good today. And uh, I will say uh, Joe Mountain does need to improve on uh, his decision-making a bit, but – I, I think he'll do fine later down the line. I think he's going to be fine. Uh, but yeah, Tennessee got the win, did what they had to do, and we play all, and now we play Austin P next week. Uh, that should be an easy win. I'm not worried about Austin P one bit. Uh, so we're going to win next week too. We're going to start the season two and zero, baby. And then we're going to be 3 0 when we play Florida. <laughs> and yes, people say, oh, Tennessee didn't really look that good today. Uh, we're still beating Florida. Did you not see how bad they looked? We're still beating Florida. And we honestly didn't even look that bad. I mean, it, sure, in the first half, you could say, yeah, Tennessee looked bad. But second half, I thought we played great. I mean, we covered the spread, so we were expected to win by 28, and uh, we won by 36, so. But I'm pretty sure most everybody expected us to cover the 28-point spread, so. Uh. All I gotta say is uh, go Vols, man. We got the win. That's all that matters. Uh, also, what's happening in the college football world? Colorado shocks the world and beats TCU. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. I thought TCU was gonna blow them out, but nope. Colorado and Deion Sanders have done it. They start the season one and zero. No. Uh, I'm watching the Boise State-Michigan game, and it looks like uh, there's a penalty on Washington, it looks like, I guess for roughing the kicker. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. But, man, Colorado shocks the world. I, I did not see Colorado winning this game. I thought I thought TC was gonna win and win easily. I did not see Colorado winning this game. 
Like, I, I expected, like, three wins max. Three wins max for Colorado. But if, yo, if Colorado, if Colorado wins, wait, is that a, oh, I guess they're, they're flagging him for flopping? I don't know. That, that's, yeah, that's not a flop. So he gets another chance. I guess I'm doing commentary in the Boise State Washington State got game now, and he kick is up, and it's good. And Boise State has the lead back nine to seven. Uh, this Boise State's actually bit, offense has been tearing this Washington defense up so far, honestly. But uh, Washington's been doing the same to Boise State, so so it looks like we got a pretty good game brewing here. Uh, But yeah, um, can Colorado make a bowl game? Honestly, if they play like they did today, they can. I I, I don't know if it's true. Shadur Sanders apparently had like over 400 yards today. Good lord, man. I know you say, oh, it's TCU. I mean, well, TCU made the national title game last season. So, you can't really say, oh, it's TCU. I mean, they made the national title game last season. You can say, oh, TCU, they still lost Max Duggan and that Quentin Johnston. But you're right, they did. And nobody expected TCU to be just as good. I, I still expected TCU to be a pretty solid team. But... But, yeah, I did not see Colorado winning this game. I, I thought TCU was going to win and win big. But... Props to Colorado. Uh, I guess they heard all the hate people were saying this off season, and they wanted to prove everybody wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong, Colorado. <laughs> they're still not winning the national championship or whatever, making the playoff like all these idiots are saying. But Colorado is definitely better uh, than what people have been saying. Uh, because I said three wins max. They, I think they can make a bowl game now, honestly, if they keep playing like this. They can make a bowl game. They play Nebraska next week, and it's at home. That's a winnable game. That's a winnable game now. That's a winnable game. And honestly, I'd favor Colorado. Because, really, I wasn't re all that impressed with Nebraska. Um... Sorry. Um, what else has been going on in the college football world? Yeah, not a lot of, like, I mean, well, Nor Northern Illinois upset Boston, even though it's not really an upset. I mean, that's, I'm pretty sure most, most people knew Northern Illinois could win that game. Boston College is terrible. I mean, it's not, to be honest with you, it's not, in my opinion, it's not really that big of an upset. But also, Fresno State beat Purdue today. Fresno State beat Purdue. Oh my goodness. Purdue fans are probably um raging so hard right now. And man. I guess their firebox and the train just went out. But yeah, man. Her don't. What happened? <laughs> You'll love to see. But uh, you know what I'm thinking in the video here. Um, I'm gonna finish watching this Boise State Washington game, and I guess I'll try to. I'll, I'll definitely watch North Carolina South Carolina later tonight. And I'll see you guys later.